Everybody just have a good time. Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Matt, and this is Fade to Black. I don't know if any of you have seen the new Captain America movie yet, but if you haven't, you totally should. I saw it with a group of friends just a little bit ago, and I gotta tell you, I was not disappointed. It had everything from skull-cracking action to tender romantic scenes for the ladies, and it did a good job of blending it all into a delicious flag-waving cinema powerhouse. This is just another example of how superheroes are becoming more and more mainstream in our current society. And that's just because superheroes have a little something for everyone. There's magic, there's science, there's violence, romance, humor, anything you could ask for. In fact, I would have to say that superheroes and comics are probably one of the most diverse mediums when it comes to content. Which in itself is a weird thing because almost more than anything else, comic books and the superheroes that reside in them have one very familiar thing in common. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. Yes, in the entire genre, which is superheroes and comics, it's strange that how a world that is so full of color has so very little color in it. And as a superhero enthusiast, who happens to also be a black man, it sometimes is something that has made me feel like an outsider in a group that is composed mostly of other outsiders. Now, before I continue this post, I just want to say that this is not about me yelling, nah, death to the white devil, and saying that all comics are racist. See, so many times when a person of a different ethnic group makes a comment or tries to add a little bit of diversity to an established thing, they are sworn by an angry mob for trying to enforce political correctness. When really, the people of that mob don't want certain people or groups to change things from the way they believe things ought to be. What I'm trying to say in this post is over the years, as the world has evolved and grown more inclusive in its ethnic diversity, it's a shame that the world of comics and superheroes haven't made more of an effort to do the same. Look at this whole business with the Thor movie that came out. A black actor was cast to play the role of Heimdall, a Norse god who has always been shown and or drawn as a white male. So many people threw a big fit over this little pigmentation change and totally refused to even think that he may have been the best actor to audition for the role. And in the grand scheme of things, when you think about it, it wasn't all that big of a deal. It wasn't like he was Thor or Odin or Loki. He was a background character, a supporting role in what would otherwise be an all-white cast, except for maybe that Asian dude who had about like two lines. The issue of skin color in comic books has always been a weird thing to bring up because it seems like they were always so busy creating new and fabulous races out of thin air that they forgot about the real ones we already have. Here is this world where there are dozens upon dozens of people with blue, green, or even red skin, but at the same time, there's maybe about three Asians that you see on a regular basis. Latinos are all but extinct, Native Americans are almost always shown as magical war chiefs, and finding an Islamic or Middle Eastern superhero is like trying to find Waldo in a candy cane factory. Not to say that the world of superheroes isn't slowly inching its way towards improvement, but to me, it seems like they're always dragging their feet on the issue. Just doing enough to be able to say, hey, look, there's a black guy here. See, we're not totally racist. To put this whole thing into perspective, there is something to be said about the time period when most of these iconic superheroes were made. Back then, other races really didn't exist as far as most of the whites were concerned, and the writers of these comics provided their all-Caucasian audience with super characters they could relate to. And after decades upon decades of storyline built around these characters, it seemed almost impossible to change things. But now, with so many different shapes and colors and creeds of comic book readers, it should be just a mere switch of the pen to include these all-new fans. Because, at the end of the day, it really does have a subtle effect on the way people view themselves. Take into account Dragon Ball Z. The main hero, Goku, an alien that is Japanese in appearance, fights space monsters and evil martial arts masters to keep the world safe. But when he changes into his most powerful form, a Super Saiyan, his hair turns golden blonde and his eyes turn sky blue. Now, that may not seem like a big deal to some people, but when you really take the time to look at it, it's a very subtle message to the young Japanese children that watch the show. Remember, kids, no matter how strong you are and how hard you work, you'll never be stronger than the Aryan ideal. Now, I know, or at least I would hope to think, that all this racial neglect is purely accidental, but at the same time, With every black superhero out there being a formal criminal, a basketball player, or some kind of jungle-dwelling vigilante, one gets the feeling that no matter what we do, that's how we are viewed. I'm not saying that we need to go back in time and make Superman black, and I'm not saying that every superhero team needs to be as racially fair and balanced as the Planeteers. And I'm also not saying that comic books and superheroes haven't been sort of trying. 
but it would be nice every now and then that there was a superhero team where there was more than one minority on it. Or maybe, just maybe, taking an already established character like Bucky or Robin or, heck, even a main brand superhero like Daredevil and Wonder Woman and changing them to better match the world we live in. And before some of you go off yelling that I'm trying to steal one of your beloved characters to feed my progressive agenda or my politically correct jihadist wet dream or whatever you call them, I just want to let you know how you sound to everybody else. Nuh-uh, if I give you the waffles, I won't get any. Link, would you like a waffle? There is no more waffles. I have them all. I know, it's an example. Why, yes, Rhett, I think I would like two waffles. You can't, you want two of them? So if Link gets two waffles... And I get two waffles. That still leaves eight waffles for you. I don't want eight waffles. I want 12. I want 12 of them. If you can seriously eat all those waffles, I will personally drive you to the store to buy some more. I just I just don't know why you guys get all the waffles. You still have more waffles than Rhett and me combined. They're mine. I got them from the freezer and I put them on my plate. You guys are being selfish. That's all I got. Fade to black.